Yo! This time I want to make a song with a camera and more especially the sound it makes. So I managed to get four uh, sounds from the that kind of one sample of the camera kind of auto focusing. You can actually hear the focusing motor, then you hear the little beep, and then when the shutter goes. So I managed to get four sounds from that. The first thing I wanted to do, I wanted to create a uh, like a lead sound. Pretty much everything melodic in this song comes from uh, that beep, really. You've guessed it, I put it into the NNXT. What I found out is that it's two beeps uh, really close together. As I was going lower down the keyboard, that's when I actually found out it's, it's the two beeps in quick succession. I only wanted one beep. Another good thing you can do on the NNXT is that, so just here, once you've clicked on the uh, sound, uh, the sample, so down here you've got start and end. So I put it down to 25.1, just because it creates just that one beep, because I didn't want the two beeps together. And then I came up with that lead kind of melody. So what I've done to kind of add a bit more character to the lead sound is called Portamento. Basically what it is, when you play one note and you go to the next note, say it goes a bit higher, it adds like a bit of a pitch bend from that. So if I take this completely off, and now if I add the Portamento back on, It just adds a bit of character to it. I just have a, a nice simple EQ on there. Took out all the low end, a bit of the top end as well, because it was a bit a bit harsh really, so I wanted to kind of take that out and dull it down a little bit. After that, I created a pad sound. So it's from the same sample. I just adjusted the uh, attack. So you don't get quite the harshness to begin with, so it just makes it a bit smoother uh, and a bit softer. After that, it's all kind of percussive uh, stuff. And so what's really nice with the kind of main sample uh, from the camera is the shutter sounds really good as a snare. Kind of cut that up and use that to create the beginning kind of percussive stuff. Because what I've done with one of the shutter sound snare hits, I kind of cut that off and I reversed it. So that's what kind of creates that kind of sound to lead into the snare. Bit of reverb on there, just a little bit, and just a simple EQ really. So I've just took out the low ends and a little bit of the high end as well. Uh, but what I did like is from the autofocus hum, when you can hear the actual motor, I used that, I kind of quantized it, it added like a nice uh, kind of rhythmic aspect to it. With the first section, which is this bit here. So I pretty much just copied that, but I reversed it. So not much of a difference, but it just kind of adds this extra rhythmic uh, quality to it. I wanted to try and create a kick sound, and this it was a little bit difficult actually. I took that initial sample, I put that into the NNXT, and I played it quite low. Bounced that, popped it into Redrum, and then here with Redrum, uh, you can adjust the length of the sample and the pitch. So I lowered it down, and then I shortened the length of it to give me this. It's a nice little snappy, clicky 
uh, kick drum, which does the job. So that was the uh, kick for that kind of first half of the song. And then for the, the second kick in the, in the last kind of half of the song, now I just adjusted the length of the sample, just so it kind of had it that extra kind of sound to it. It's just kind of more bigger, kind of, yeah, squelchier sort of uh, kick sound. For the snare, it's just the shutter. Again, what I do with a lot of the snares, I kind of bounce the snare and then I just lower it down. And the original. So them two layered up, it just kind of punches through really nicely. So what I like to do to add reverb to the snares, I don't like adding it to the snares in the main kind of drum beat because then they can get too far back in the mix and then they don't really cut through. I copy the re-drum patch and open that up into a second re-drum. And in this second re-drum, I purely just use this for the snares and on this I apply a really big reverb. And then when you layer the two up, you get the nice kind of attack uh, from the, the dry, from the first re-drum, but then you get that nice kind of reverb from the second one. And again, to accentuate the snares, uh, I bounce just the snares on their own, so the dry one with the reverbed one. Uh, and again, you bounce that, but then you reverse it, and you have that to lead up into the snares. So the reverse sound on its own, So I lead that up to the to the uh, snare hits. So it just accentuates the snares really. After that, I made like a bass. This was probably the most difficult thing of this song to do. I took that initial beep. I was playing it low, but I don't know why. For some reason, it was the same same pitch, even though I was going lower on the keyboard. That was the lowest note I could achieve from that instance of the of the sample. I bounced that and then kind of imported that sample into a new NNXT. I was able to achieve lower sounds. I put the usual uh, bit of distortion on there. Uh, this is tube distortion just to kind of make it a bit warmer and bring it up a little bit. And again, Audiomatic bottom really brings out the subby lower tones in the bass, uh, which is exactly what I was looking for. And the EQ, take out all the highs, uh, had like a low cut uh, around kind of 40 hertz, and then just kind of boost the, the low end a little bit really. Because this song, the tempo, I put it to 140, uh, just because I kind of like the vibe of that first kind of rhythmic kind of section to it. Uh, and I was thinking I wanted the first half to have samples from the, the camera. I didn't want to manipulate or change them too much. I wanted it so you could identify, oh, that's a, you know, a camera autofocus and the beep and everything. Uh, but then because it was at 140, I did want to have a nice kind of bassy, bit more heavier uh, kind of second half to it. So on this one, I pretty much just added a lot of distortion to the kind of sounds I already created. So for the kind of second half of the song, the second lead line is exactly the same as the, the first one, apart from I added some distortion to it really, and so quite a lot to give it that nice kind of yeah, harsh, gritty kind of vibe to it. The EQ on that, similar to the first one, the only thing is with this one, I only took out the bottom end because I didn't want to touch any of the high frequencies just so it could cut through and make a nice impact. That's basically it.
Thank you.